Hi, this is Jacob again. Welcome to the next lesson of this PLC programming course. During previous lesson you have installed TIA portal. Great! Now let's move on, let's create your first project. Let's add this CPU to your PLC project. Let's start. In previous lesson you have installed TIA portal version 16th and PLC sim. Now we're going to create first project and write first code in ladder logic to check if all the components of this environment work properly. Firstly, open TIA portal. Now click create new project. Write your project name, for example, my first project. Then you have to specify the path where the project will be saved. For example, on your desktop. Click Create. In the next step, we have to configure device. We can do it in this configuration wizard or we can move on to project view. Click project view. And now on the left side, you will see project tree. Now click Add new device. From the three controllers, choose Simatic S7-1200 CPU, CPU 1211C DC DC DC, and click on the last item on this list. This is the CPU with the newest firmware on the market. We choose firmware version 4.4 and click OK. Take a look at your project tree. On the left a new device appeared. This is the PLC CPU 1211C that we have chosen from the list. By default, you are in device configuration view. Here you can configure hardware properties of your CPU, for example, Profinet interface where you declare your IP address. We will move on, go to project blocks and click main OB1. You have opened your organization block 1 and now we will start creating code. On the right you can enlarge your view and now let's place first instructions into our network 1. To do this you have to go to the right tab, click on the instructions BitLogic operations and here you have all the basics of the ladder logic. Normally open contacts, normally closed, the coils, flip-flops and so on. As you can see on the upper tab you have your favorite instructions. If you don't see this tab, you can turn on this view by clicking this icon. Now click on the normally open contact, drag it and drop on the first network. Now click on the assignment coil and place it next to the contact. Ok, we have placed the first instructions in ladder logic, but we don't have any variables. We have to go to PLC tags, click on this tab and click default tag table. Here we have to declare the first variables to finish our simple ladder logic program. 
Now go to first row, click add a new and write variable name. For example, push button one. If you press enter, it will be automatically declared as input. Click on the column address and change operand identifier to M. This means that we will declare this variable in work memory of our CPU. Such a declaration will be used only for test purpose. In the next lessons, I will show you how to declare inputs, outputs and how to use them in your ladder logic program. Now declare the next variable, for example, lamp1. It will be automatically declared in M memory with an address 0 0.1. Superb. Now go back to main OB1 and now you can assign a variable to your instruction which is normally open contact and coil. Click above normally open contact, write X and choose push button. Press enter. The same with the coil. Write X. Click on the X lamp 1. And voila! Our simple ladder logic program is ready. To check if we can simulate it with PLC sim, you have to save your project click on the PLC one and click on the start simulation icon. Click OK on this prompt. Once again, OK. And PLC sim will be started. It looks like little window like this. Now TIA portal will download the PLC configuration and our program to PLC simulator. Click load. You can click start module and click finish. Excellent, our PLC sim is in run mode. If you click little glasses on the upper bar, you will see online view of your program. As you can see, structure of ladder logic is very simple. On the left, you can see a power bar and the signal flows from the left to the right, like in electrical circuits. If the variable connected to normally open contact is false, the signal stops on this contact. If the variable is in high state, you can click on the variable right mouse button and click modify to one. Now the value of this variable equals to true. If value of the variable connected to normally open contact is true, it conducts the current from the power bar on the right and empowers the coil on the end on this branch. 
In this lesson, we have to make a quick check if all the components of TIA portal work properly. If you can start a simulation and you see a window like this, it means that everything is okay. During our programming course, we will guide you step by step through all the topics related to coding instructions, variables, types of variables, cons constants, and PLC configuration. This is only the first step in our adventure. If everything works okay, let's go to the next lesson. In the next lesson, we will add a new device to our project. It will be HMI panel.